There's lots to see and do in Guangzhou. I couldn't see everything while I was there, but here are some of the attractions that I did manage to see. Also, you can watch my other earlier videos to see what Guangzhou is like. The park is the largest park in the older part of downtown Guangzhou. It's on a hill, so it has a great lookout, and it features the iconic um, symbol of uh, Guangzhou, the five round statues, and it has three artificial lakes. This place used to be a school for people with a surname Chen. Uh, it was built in 1894. It, the building is very historical and it's now a museum for the building because of its historical feature. It also houses the Guangdong Folk Art Museum, uh, housing a lot of art pieces and period pieces. It comprises of 19 buildings. A lot of hallways, you can see, is quite a popular tourist attraction for its uh, historical artifacts. The one Lake Park is on the west side of Guangzhou. It's a comprehensive park, so it has uh, boat cruises, a library, gym. It's a popular place for people to hang out. And at night, it's, it's well lit up, so it looks very pretty at night. We're approaching Shaman Island, which mean, literally means sandy surface. It's also on the west side of Guangzhou. It used to be the former French and British uh, concessionary area of Guangzhou. So a lot of the buildings are European, and it's now a tourist attraction, popular walking area with uh, 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 with tourist shops and, and a lot of the consulates are also located here.
This village is on the outskirts of Guangzhou. It's a, a historical fishing village. It was the start of the Maritime Silk Road. Uh, the Danes from Denmark set up shop here, and it, uh, it's a place where there's a farmer's market, uh, narrow alleyways, and a lot of history and architecture here. Thank you for watching this video and my previous videos on Hong Kong, Guangzhou, and Kaiping. Please like and share and comment on these videos just so that others can enjoy them as well. Thank you.